Hi, I'm Sara. Welcome to my coffee break at TU Darmstadt. Today, my guest is Christa Mittelstedt, Professor of Lightweight Engineering and Structural Mechanics at the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Welcome, Mr. Mittelstedt. Hi, Sara. This is our coffee break. So, yeah. uh, which is your favorite type of coffee? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm a huge caffeine addict, you know, so I drink a lot of coffee every day and, uh, you know, but I don't like what uh, modern coffee machines give me. So actually my favorite coffee is instant coffee. I know that's a disappointment, but that's the way it is, you know. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, I was uh, working in a bank uh, in an office and then we had instant coffee and that's uh, a habit that I have from those days. Mm -hmm. So one of my postdocs actually called that uh, uh, a wastewater. But, yeah. Well, yeah. So, but that bit. one is good too. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, yeah. um, this is a podcast when we want to give a glimpse to the student uh, um, about life here at the Theo Darmstadt. Sure. And which master program do you offer in the in Department of Mechanical Engineering? Uh, okay, so in the master's what we offer is uh, typical classical mechanical engineering where we have certain branches that you can choose. Like, for instance, you can choose classical mechanical engineering, okay, without any specialization, but you can also specialize in, for instance, future automotive systems. So we offer mechanical engineering, of mm -hmm. course. So that's the core of our business. What we've done a few years ago, we started an international program which is called Aerospace Engineering and which is entirely in English. So that means if you are from abroad and you want to study in Germany at a medium-sized university in the heart of Germany, then Darmstadt is the place to go. You can study uh, aerospace engineering there. And I myself, uh, my professorship is uh, heavily involved in uh, lightweight engineering and uh, also aerospace engineering. And I'm offering a lot of courses there. And it's quite interesting that uh, I have people from all over the world sitting in my lectures. You know, people from India, from Pakistan, from China, from Taiwan, from Italy, from Spain. Well, you name it, wherever you, yeah. uh, where you wanted to go. And, uh, well, that's what we're offering. We're currently working on another master's uh, uh, program, which is going to start in two years, which is called Biomaterials Engineering. Oh, Yeah, right. So uh, we already have the bachelor's courses for that. So that's already ongoing. That one is flying and we're currently planning for the master's in that as well. So that's basically what we're offering. Very interesting to know. Yes. In two years, we can also study that. Yes. Why should people uh, start studying mechanical engineering on aerospace engineering here at the TU? What is so special and unique about this mm. institution and mm. department? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, when it comes to aerospace engineering, me and uh, many of my colleagues, we have relevant industry uh, experience in those fields, you know. So, and um, I think this is absolutely vital and also very beneficial for teaching, but also for research, that we have a lot of professors who have this industrial background. You know, myself, I've been for 11 years in the aerospace industry. So I was working at Airbus for six years. And then afterwards, I went to an Airbus supplier for five years, you know, and I bring that industry experience in to my lectures. So what we're doing in our lectures is not only theory, but yeah, we do a lot of theory, of course, you know, but we always have the foundation of the industrial relevance of what we're teaching there. And I think this is a very unique combination, which you will not find everywhere, you know. Yeah, so sure. I think uh, that's one of the most basic things. And also to study in Darmstadt is, uh, I think, a very worthwhile experience because, uh, well, we're in the heart of Germany. Okay, that's one thing. So that means uh, simply location. But also, we're a medium-sized university. Medium-sized means um, we have a very familiar atmosphere on the campus in mechanical engineering. And uh, you're never alone when you're working with us or studying with us, you know. So people know each other. People watch out for each other. And that's good, right? Yeah, not only from aerospace engineering. I can also tell from my student my study uh, yeah. I'm never alone I always yes. meet someone on campus and yes. always yes so it's not good. anonymous like in a yeah. very huge university as I said we're medium sized and I think that's good for people yeah. and especially if people come from abroad you know if you come from another country I mean everything is new people are new the culture is new the university is new everything and everything looks different and everything smells different you know it's an entirely different world and uh, you know to have a familiar atmosphere is good for you to arrive here yeah was yeah. very good also for me when I came here. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And um, have you mentioned the case that people want to study here in Lintel Darmstadt, uh, aerospace engineering right. or mechanical engineering? What should they bring here? What are you looking for mm -hmm. students besides having completed a Bachelor of Science in yeah, the yeah, field yeah, yeah. because in yeah, Germany yeah. it's a basic requirement? What are you looking for? 
Yeah. I mean, what we're looking for, of course, is people who already have an education with a relevant background. So, I mean, when we talk about aerospace engineering, so what do you need? You need mathematics, you need mechanics, you need material science, you know, and that cannot be discussed. That's not open for debate. You need those fundamentals because otherwise you're lost, right? But what we're especially searching for are people who are actually interested in what they're doing. And what, we are, what I'm searching for and my people is I'm searching for passion passion for what we're doing and what I'm trying in my lecture is I try to convey that passion for my own field to my students you know because if I'm passionate about what I'm doing if I really am love what with what I'm doing then it's going to be a success you know but if I study something where I don't really have an idea why I'm studying that that's not going to be good you know so what we're searching for is passionate people right and you need to bring that and if you have that we're going to make it a fun story yeah passion is always something that yes. people should bring everywhere absolutely, absolutely. what's in work yes yeah uh and um how would you finish the sentence you are exactly here at the teodarmishat if you mm, yeah as i said uh, you're exactly at the right point if you are a passionate individual for engineering science for aerospace engineering in particular That's one thing. And uh, also uh, you're at the right place if you're searching, as I said multiple times now, if you are searching for a medium-sized university with a very familiar atmosphere, if you're searching for that, and if you're also searching for professors who have the relevant experience in order to teach aerospace engineering, then you're absolutely at the right place. That's um, right. We talk about students, but yeah. uh, we want to know also something about you, since mm -hmm. you are here and we are having right. this coffee break. Um, if you were to start studying again now, which mm -hmm. a lot of master and bachelor do we have at our university, what would mm -hmm. you choose? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. So, you know, from my studies, I'm actually a civil engineer. So I didn't study mechanical engineering. So civil engineering means uh, I once learned how to build houses and bridges and stuff like that, you know. But I never worked as a civil engineer because right in my studies, I realized that I'm very, very interested in the fundamentals, in the theoretical background. So what I did was I took all lectures that were offered in our department on mechanics, mathematics, stuff like that. You know, I really love with that. And, um, you know, I wouldn't change a thing because uh, the uh, education concerning those fun fundamentals, theoretical fundamentals, was excellent where I come from. So I wouldn't change a thing. But there will become a day uh, when I'm going to retire. And what I'm going to do is, uh, and my wife thinks I'm crazy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to enroll again and I'm going to study again. I'm probably going to study physics with a major in astrophysics. You know, learning really about black holes and neutron stars and stuff like that. You know, I've got some knowledge about that, but I want to go much, much deeper into that because I'm just interested. And when I'm retired, I've got the time. <laughs> you know? uh, we talk about passion and we can also hear from your words that right. you are really passionate about what you do. So it's really uh, giving a good impression about uh, right. also what you do in our university. Mm. And we are really happy that yeah. there are people with this great passion about what they do. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And um, mm. about something else, a special highlight of our podcast that we want to know, uh, which is your favorite uh, spot to uh, enjoy a coffee around campus at oh, the yeah. university? Mm. Yeah, as I said, I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, what I like to do is, I mean, that might be a bit, uh, a bit weird or uh, unusual, but uh, I like being around people when I work, you know. And that is probably because uh, I've got some brothers and sisters. So that means in the house where I grew up, there was always noise, you know. And I'm totally used to working with a lot of background noise, you know. I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. And uh, what I actually like to do is uh, whenever I've got a free hour, uh, when I want to concentrate, I go to the canteen, right? And I sit down there. And uh, for me, look, I'm over 50 now. So that means I'm getting old. And, um, but I like being around young people because I find that very, very stimulating. So uh, basically, you're going to find me quite often in the canteen, drinking my coffee with my laptop open and then working there, especially in the early morning hours, you know. So, yeah, go to the canteen. And the coffee is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, this was the, the end. Thank you for uh, staying with me and enjoying our coffee. Yeah. And check our social media for our next episode. And we see you next time. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.